Hi everyone, my name is King IV and this is a custom ACL workshop on variables. So variables can often be overlooked, especially when you're learning ACL and you all you want to do is summarizations, extracts, sampling, all these different components, but they're a really important part of the ACL experience and they can really enhance your scripting if you if you're aware of this. So what you're gonna do is go to this variable tab, variables tab, which is available I believe in ACL eleven and above. Uh, so for example, if I, you're going to see that most of the variables disappear once you start closing your project. Uh, but if I were to go press control four to total my dice coefficient, uh, you're going to see that the amount is stored here. So even if I were to close this, it would still be there. Or for example, if I were to filter just on this component and I were to do a count, you'll see that the count is now there. Even if I unfilter and then my number records is completely different now it only be it only change if um if i were to do the count again so if i do the count again you'll see that that value is saved another really great way to get these variables is to run statistics so if i run statistics on this and then uh price on dice coefficient and I press standard deviation it's going to show me a whole bunch of different values here. So it's going to show me total. It's still going to keep um, the count, for example, but it's also going to give me the average, pretty much everything here. The average, the high one, high, low, uh, low one, max, min, which, which in this case is going to be the same. Um, it's also going to give you the range, uh, the standard deviation. If I were to pick an, another value, let me just go to another table and run this and show you how... It can take advantage of this. So if I were to go here and run statistics on on the original mount, you'll see here it saved a whole bunch of different values, which you then can be really useful. So for example, if I want to see everything that's above the average, all I have to do is go original mount is greater than average one. And then now if I were to add that column, original amount, you'll see here all these amounts, I'm going to just quickly sort it just to prove it, are now above, above this average, which can be really useful. Otherwise, what you'd have to do is summarize on some, on some amount, uh, then divide by the number of records, like make up a field, like summarize on X, and then divide by the count, and then rejoin it, then calculate the average. So it's a really quick way, quick and easy way of determining whether or not you need, how you want to go ahead and proceed in your values. Another way is that if, for example, you're trying to determine whether or not you want to append or not append your extract, because if you don't append, it's going to create this new table. But if you do append and it, you're, you had values from previously, then it's going to double the values. You can use take advantage of count, open the table and count it and see whether or not there's anything there. If there's not, then then uh, just do the normal extract. If there is, then do the extract with the append. It also saves folder location, any other variables that you create. So if I create here a variable that goes test equals five, it's going to save the value test here and it's going to save it as numeric. If I go test two is equal to the spelling of five, it's going to save it here. And you're going to be able to see all these different variables and components and you can save your materiality there, use that for sampling, use that for the number of records that you want to compute or uh, to, to value. For example, if I wanted to uh, increase my, my count, uh, say for example, I have a V counter equals count one, which is a great way of storing the value indefinitely, right? Because that way, if I do another count one, I can also then do V count is equal to V count plus one. Oh, sorry. It's actually V counter. And then you're going to see here, it's going to increase the value by one, which is a really great way. So nothing really too complicated in this video, but really important to know how it even saves your output folder where your files are going to be saved. If you were to create any new tables, uh, you can save your output location where you're importing. 
save a whole bunch of different variables, use this information to your advantage, and it's really going to enhance your ACL experience. So thank you. And if you have any other questions, comments, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if there's any other videos that you want me to post or to comment on, uh, feel free to post it in the comment section below or, or shoot me an email. Thank you, and I look forward to speaking to you next time.